Are you a small business owner debating whether to photograph your own products or hire a professional photographer? It's understandable. Professional photography services can be expensive, so opting to do it yourself can be a tempting alternative. However, there's a catch. You need to learn how to photograph your products exceptionally well to make this option worthwhile. Hi again, it's me, Rose, your online buddy who loves to share food and product photography tips and tricks. Obviously, teaching is my true love, but I'm also on a mission to empower small businesses or small business owners like you to take captivating food and product photos. Over the years, I've collaborated with these amazing local brands. One of the main reasons I delved into food and product photography was to support my small business owner friends in marketing their products online. This all started during the pandemic when online presence became crucial with everyone spending more time online than ever before. Unfortunately, not every small business owner has access to a photographer. And I personally couldn't accommodate all the requests I received during that time for taking product photos. So I decided to start offering food and product photography workshops, which eventually evolved into online courses aimed at teaching small business owners how to capture stunning photos of their products themselves. But what if you're not feeling confident about taking your own product photos and are considering hiring a photographer? Don't worry, in this video, I'll help you navigate through this decision-making process. So let's kick things off by exploring the DIY option, taking charge and taking your own product photos. But here's the burning question. Can you really do it? Are you up for the challenge? I think the answer is yes. Photography is accessible to everyone, especially if you're open to learning. Remember what I mentioned earlier, to truly excel with a DIY approach, you'll need to sharpen your photography skills. You can't just wing it. <laughs> Mastering basic photography principles is crucial for consistently capturing stunning product photos. And yes, it requires more than a bit of practice. Let's be real, it takes quite a bit of trial and error. But don't let that discourage you. Every shot, good or bad, is a step toward improvement. And as long as you're eager to learn, DIY is a fantastic option. Now, let's talk about one of the most crucial factors in creating eye-catching photos. Because again, let's be real, you want to know what you're getting into, right? So first is lighting. Lighting is the magic ingredient that elevates product photos from good to great. It's every photographer's secret weapon. The good news is you don't need fancy or expensive equipment to achieve stunning results. Natural light, like sunlight, streaming through a window is your best friend. It's accessible and budget-friendly. It's actually free. The key here is to know how to harness this natural light to its fullest potential. Now, this topic requires a whole video in itself, which I did for you because you're so special, so check that out later. Now, moving on to the next factor to consider when you want to DIY your product photo shoots. Composition is a vital aspect of creating captivating product photos. Composition is all about how you arrange your products and props to craft a balanced and visually pleasing image. Now, there are several composition techniques that you can explore. One common approach is symmetry, where you position your product in the center to achieve balance. You can also create a symmetrical look by placing identical elements on both sides of the frame. Another technique is the rule of thirds, which involves dividing your camera frame into a grid and placing your product at or near the intersection points. Lastly, there's the rule of odds, where odd numbers like 3, 5, or 7 are used to create visual interest. This is actually my personal favorite. Now, why odd numbers? I don't know. I'm going to research and maybe make another video about that. But the point is, there are so many ways that you can compose your shot. These are just the common ones. But then what I love about photography is that once you get the hang of it, you can actually break the rules and that's the exciting part. But again, another topic for another video. So moving on. Another crucial aspect, getting hot in here. Wearing winter clothes during the summer. What a wise choice. 
Another crucial aspect to master in the DIY approach is styling your product and scene. Product styling is an art form that aims to make your product look as appealing and inviting as possible. By carefully selecting backgrounds and props, you can tell a story that captures your audience's attention. Remember, your audience may not yet know how amazing your product is, so it's essential to showcase it in the best light through your photos. And styling can greatly help with that. But again, these are just some of the key factors to consider when choosing the DIY route. Now, if you're feeling inspired and can't wait to put these ideas into practice, then DIY might be the perfect choice for you. However, if the thought of all this seems overwhelming and unexciting, opting for a professional photographer to capture your product photos might be the better option for now. But of course, I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Here are a few tips when finding the best photographer to capture your amazing product or products. Tip number one is to schedule a meeting or consultation with potential photographers. This gives you a chance to talk about what you want from the shoot. Plus, it helps you figure out if you vibe well together. You want someone who gets your vision, right? Tip number two is to be super clear about what you want. Share your ideas, your goals, and any must-haves for the shoot. I always ask my clients to send me pictures or a mood board so I can nail down the style or the vibe they are aiming for. Tip number three, pick someone who's great at keeping in touch. Good communication is key. You don't want your photographer to be ghosting you. You want to make sure everyone's on the same page from start to finish as well. And don't forget to get everything or put everything in writing too. It's very handy to have a contract. Tip number four, talk money early on. Make sure you're both clear on the cost and when you need to pay up. It is also very important to manage expectations, especially when working with new or less experienced photographers. While choosing a more affordable option may seem tempting, be aware that there may be risks involved, such as lower quality or less polished results. Tip number five, find a photographer who gets your brand. You want your photos to match your vibe and message. So consistency is key for building trust with your audience. So make sure your photographer understands that. And finally, here's the big one. Go for a photographer who specializes in the kind of shots you need. Trust me, photographing people is way different from taking photos of food and products. So stick to someone who knows their craft. And that is it. I hope that by following these tips and guidelines, you can find the right photographer who meets your needs and helps bring your vision to life effectively and professionally. But then again, if you prefer the DIY approach, I have a lot of tutorials here to help you get started. And I even have in-depth classes that focuses on food and product photography. With all that said, I've got Skillshare classes that offer in-depth insights into different aspects of food and product photography. Whether you use a smartphone or DSLR, there's something here for you to explore. And drum roll, please. Of course, Perky Rose has something to add. By joining Skillshare, you gain access to not only my classes, but also over 40,000 courses from talented creators worldwide. Plus, the first 100 signups using the link in the description below can enjoy one month free. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. And if you're hungry for more food and product photography tips and tricks, be sure to check out these playlists wherever they may be. <laughs> Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more content. And I hope to see you in the next video.